These odds are absolutely insane. I might mess around and put $500 on the Steelers to win the AFC North. And if you do that and win, you get $3,500 as your payout. And I think that's a good bet because the Steelers are coming off the best offseason in the NFL, getting guys like Isaac Salomalo in free agency. And in the draft, they got talent like Darnell Washington, Roger Jones, Joey Porter Jr., and Keanu Benton all within three rounds. They had an absolutely insane offseason, and I don't think people actually comprehend the type of talent they got with the roster that they already had. I mean, the fact that any odd maker would put the Cleveland Browns, that sorry one-hit wonder organization, over the Steelers on any given day when the Steelers have a winning culture, when the Steelers have a coach like Mike Tomlin. I already mentioned the type of talent they have, a top three defense in the NFL. If you ask me and stacked offensively, all that has to happen now is Kenny taking that jump and we all believe that he will based on all the game winning drives he had last year and the talent and potential he showed so to have a team like the cleveland browns over a team like the steelers the cleveland browns a team that has shown nothing other than the ability to be dysfunctional over a team that has shown nothing other than the ability to be consistent when it comes to winning and very functional it's absolutely ludicrous and when it comes to the Bengals and the ravens I think those are two very good teams, but they're not built like the Steelers roster to go 17 games and crush their opponents the way Omar Khan constructed this roster to be very, very trenches minded. It honestly reminds me of the Eagles last year, how they were just dominating teams. I think that will be the Steelers in this upcoming year. And the Ravens are really one dimensional. If you think about it, every time they've made Lamar a thrower, it has not worked out. And even in their best year, again, they got figured out in the playoffs. So what are they going to do now that they're saying they're going to be throwing a lot more than running? That's not a good thing for them. That's never been a good thing for them. So I'm really not worried about them. They still have a lot to prove when it comes to that one dimensional offense. And when it comes to the Bengals, again, I just don't think they're built trenches made like the Steelers. I can't really name that many defensive players, even though they're a very, very well coached team. They just don't have the talent defensively that the Steelers do. Don't get me wrong though, the Bengals still have a great shot at winning the AFC North, but again, with how the Steelers are built, it's back to smash mouth football for them. And when the Steelers play their brand of football, nobody can beat them. They're gonna be running the football a lot and they built a really good run game last year in the second half of the season. Now imagine all the talent they added to that line along with a guy like Darnell Washington and they already got great blocking tight ends. All that talent now added to that run game that was already good in the second half of last year along with the D-line that was already good last year. They added Keanu Benton. They added Braden Fihoko. They were also able to retain Larry Ogunjobi. They just got Marcus Golden as depth for TJ Watt who is the best defensive player in the NFL when fully healthy, a 20-sack guy. He's proven that. And then on the other side, you got Alex Highsmith, 14.5 sacks last year, is now being extended. He would be the best edge rusher on most teams in the NFL. But on the Steelers, he's the second best edge rusher. And then you got Nick Herbig, a guy who is taught a lot by TJ Watt in college coming into the perfect situation. Get this on third down last year. Guess who were the two best guys I get into the quarterback? Nick Herbig and Jalen Carter. It's absolutely insane this lineup is for the Steelers when it comes to the D-line. And then when it comes to the linebacker position, you swapped out Miles Jack for Cole Holcomb. Huge upgrade. You swapped out Devin Bush for a Landon Roberts. Huge upgrade. You got Mark Robinson as a very, very promising project behind those two. But again, overall, when it comes to this structure of the team, they should not be dead last in the AFC North. I mean, look at the Steelers roster when it comes to all these guys' reputation for being very, very physical. Nobody in the AFC North can match this team when it comes to pure physicality, and that's why I have them winning the AFC North. But these odds are crazy, but they can also make me money. Now, I'm not saying other people should bet. I'll never tell another person to bet, 
But, you know, I'm definitely going to benefit off this. Let me know what y'all think, though, about these odds. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. And that is it from me on this one. Peace.